Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can use the ManyChat Pixel on your website and track conversions. So, what is the ManyChat Pixel? The ManyChat Pixel is a piece of code that you can add to your website to measure conversions. For example, when someone comes from your chatbot, goes to your website and clicks on a button or visits a specific page, you can measure this. And this will be sent back to ManyChat and you can see it in the ManyChat analytics. So let's add the ManyChat pixel to our website. And for this tutorial, I will show you how you can add the ManyChat pixel in WordPress because I do know that a lot of you are actually using WordPress. So if you go to settings, in your, I'm here on my ManyChat dashboard, and then if you go to settings, scroll down, then you can see here the pixel. And the ManyChat pixel, like I already said, is just a piece of code. And I won't recommend you to share this piece of code with anyone else because it's specific for your ManyChat account. So don't share this with anyone else and just copy this to your clipboard. So then if you go to your WordPress dashboard, we need to add a plugin. I think you're not familiar with adding code to your WordPress website. So let's add a plugin to do this. So go to plugins, then click on add new, and then search for insert headers and footers. Then click on install now, and activate it. Then if you go to settings, and go to insert headers and footers, we have the description header, and if you click on it and then paste the code there and scroll down and click on save. So now we've added the ManyChat pixel to our website. And with that, we can measure two kinds of events. We can measure conversion events and money events. Conversion events are events on your website. For example, when someone clicks a button or visits a page, so you will only have the name of the conversion, for example, click on a button, and the amount of times it happened, but nothing else. A money event is used when money is involved. So you will use this, for example, when someone purchases a product from your online store. And then you have the name of the event, the amount of money that's involved, and also the currency. So next, I will show you how we can add a conversion event when someone clicks on a button. And I already created a WooCommerce installation. WooCommerce is the WordPress plugin for creating your own web shop. And I also created a test product. So this is just a test product and this is the description. And in the description, I added a link. So this is the code for a link. And what will happen is when we click so this, what onClick does, if we click on this link, what happens is that the conversion event, click on a button, will be triggered to ManyChat. So every time someone clicks on this link, it will be sent back to ManyChat. So let's update it. And you don't have to copy this code yourself. I will add the code in the description. And then if we go to that page, then we can see here the button. And if you click on that button, it will trigger the conversion event in ManyChat. So let's see this, how I can do this with my mobile phone. So I created just a simple ManyChat flow that will go to this specific page on my website. And then when I click on button, Nothing happens, but something will happen in ManyChat. So if we go to ManyChat, then go to Home, and go to Metrics, and then if we scroll down, and we look for click on a button, which we just created, you will see there is a total of one. So this is triggered one time just by me, and let's say I will do it again, so I will click again, and click on the button, and I will reload this page. Scroll down. Then we do click on a button. You will see that's two. 
So that's how you measure a conversion event with the ManyChat pixel. Now, let's do another one and create a money event. Let's say we want to measure purchases on a WooCommerce store. Then we can add the following code to our functions.php. And functions.php is just a file in your WordPress team. And if you're not familiar with adding code to WordPress, I always recommend you to hire a developer, but I will show you how you can do this yourself. So if you go back to WordPress and then go to appearance and theme editor and then choose for functions.php. And what this will do, I have here have a function. What this will do is first it will check whether you're on the thank you page. So if someone creates an order when someone purchases products, he will go to a thank you page. And this will check whether you're on the thank you page or not. If that's true, it will get the order total, so how much money was spent on the order. And then it will wait until the page is fully loaded. And when the page is fully loaded, it will trigger the money event order and it will give the total of the order in dollars. So this USD, for example, you can also set it to euros, but for this example, I will just use USD. So that's the currency that's used. So I already added this to my functions.php and also I will add this in the description so you can just copy it. So let's do this. So I will go to the shop again and I will add it to my card. View the card, then proceed to checkout. Then I already filled in my information last time, so I don't have to do it right now. And then I can just place the order. And the order total is 40. So we can check. So right now the order what we have earned is $140, but it's without the event that I just created. So we will do it again. And now it is $180. So $40 are added. And if you scroll down, you can also go to your conversion events and then look for order. And you can also see the amount of orders that are placed. And you can see the amount of sales, the amount of buyers, and more information in your ManyChat dashboard. And the best part of the code that I shared with you is that the order total is dynamically used. So for example, when you have an order total of $40, $40 will be added. But for example, if you have an order of $800, $800 will be added to your ManyChat dashboard. So it is really intuitive. And that's how you just measure a money event with the ManyChat pixel. Once you've done this, you can also create automatic rules based on those conversions. So let's add an automated message if someone bought a product. So let's go to automation, create a new flow, conversion or money event, and just say a simple message with other, and then say the money event is triggered. I just want to show you that it's possible to send a lot of different messages. And then we can create a rule, which will be, when the conversion event order happens, we can send a specific flow. So we can start a flow, the money event flow. Select it, we'll save it, and then activate it. So that should be working. So if we go back, go to the shop again, add it to the card, I also will show you that if we add two of them, update the card. So now $80 should be added to the analytics dashboard. We will buy it, place the order. Thank you, your order has been received. And then if we go back, the money event is triggered. So also when someone has converted or triggered an event, you can automatically send a message but you can do much more you can also add tags or trigger a zap or subscribe to a certain sequence you can do a lot of different things and that's just awesome and also to show you that the order totals added now we have 260 dollars because we just ordered a, an order of 80 dollars so you will see it's 260 
There are just two drawbacks with the ManyChat Pixel, or drawbacks, things I must say. The first thing is that the, the overall earnings doesn't update every second. It updates like every 30 seconds. So if there's a delay of 30 seconds with the overall earnings and when you ordered a new order, that could be the case. There's with, with money events, it takes like 30 seconds. With the conversion events, it just updates automatically. Just one second and you will see the conversion event in your analytics dashboard. So that's one. Second thing is that currently the ManyChat Pixel only works with buttons. So only with the go to shop button. It won't work with URLs. You can also not create a custom URL so it will be added. The ManyChat Pixel will be added. It only works with buttons. So that's a little bit of a drawback, but still the ManyChat Pixel is a great way to measure conversions from your chatbot to your website. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.